Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So as discussed in my previous video, my philodendron El Chaco Red has recently started showing signs that there might be an issue. So today I wanted to take some preventative measures by repotting, checking on the roots, and putting him on a moss pole. Let's get into it. So this is my philodendron El Chaco Red. I'll insert some footage of when I first got this plant. It has put out a few leaves since I got it, but those leaves are starting to yellow. And it also put out this leaf recently. Oh my God, it looks so much different in this lighting. Look at the back of it. Is that a mealybug? Oh my God, speaking of mealybugs, I just had to throw away my entire Baltic blue pothos that we switched from soil to pond a couple videos ago because I was checking on it yesterday and I saw these tiny little bugs on top of one of the leaves. So I just sprayed it and went about my business, but it was on my mind all day because I freaking hate bugs. So then I started looking at the stem of the plant and I literally saw little mealybugs. They weren't little at all, they were huge. They were honestly the biggest mealybugs I've ever seen in my own home, in my own collection. So I immediately panicked. I thought I would be able to save the plant, so I so I dumped it into a anti-bug solution with some insecticidal soap and some peroxide. But then I checked on the propagations that I had taken as well, which were in a different location. When I looked at the back of that leaf, I seen two of the most biggest mealybugs I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I nearly had a heart attack, I was so scared. So needless to say, that entire plant is gone. All the propagations are gone. Even the propagations that I took from my Monstera Peru in that video are gone because they were sitting with my Baltic Blue Pothos in water, so they had to go. So I'm praying that it does not spread. That plant was in my house for like nine days, so. But onto my El Chaco Red. Like I was saying, it recently put out this leaf right here. It has another little growth point popping out of the sheath right here. I was trying to peel it back, but it's a little too fresh still. It put out this leaf before that, which is another, oh, it's so velvety, wow. I don't really touch my plants like that because the oil from your fingers can ruin the leaves. So I've heard. But the tallest leaf right here, look at that. What is happening? What is happening? It looks so, it looks like the life is being sucked out of it. These leaves are a little better. It's just some yellowing on the ridges. But this one, I think I'm gonna cut this leaf off because I'm sick of looking at it. I also have these leaves right here, which are doing okay. Not too much yellowing or really any at all that I can see right now. Oh. I just realized that these are the oldest leaves on the plant, these two, so it's probably yellowing because the plant is getting more mature. So I might leave those two on, but I definitely wanna get rid of this leaf because it looks freaking diseased. I already made my moss pole, and if you watch my video where I propagated, staked, and what else did I do to that plant? Repotted my philodendron varicosum, you know why this thing is so hard. <gasps> Please hold. Let's just get to repotting because that's exactly what I meant. I think a good idea would be to put some of that material that I used to make the LECA poles that I made months ago and putting that over the bottom so the LECA doesn't fall out while I'm putting it into the moss pole. But I'm not doing that right now, so. That's for future me to consider. Okay, I'm putting gloves on because, ooh, I am putting gloves on because I am traumatized from seeing mealybugs. Okay, let's take this out. Oh my God, I'm so scared to even move the pot with the moss pole. I have this that has some um, lechuza pond, my pond, all the pond in it. Actually, maybe I should cut off the leaf first. I'm cutting off the tallest leaf right here. I think it's, it's really not the oldest leaf, is it? No, it's not, but I'm cutting it off because it's just, Sad. Does it have bugs on it? I don't even know. Oh, he's short now. But look at how pretty this plant is. I love it so freaking much. Let's dump. I'm not gonna really dump it because I don't want water to get everywhere. 
But I am just going to pull him out. Oh my god, I think his roots are rotting. And I'm not trying to break anything. But I like to go like this just to see if the roots come off easily or not. I'm not sure how well you can see the roots, but they are a little brown. So whatever comes off. There's like no roots. I feel like he needs a smaller pot. Does he though? Look at that big root ball. That's crazy. Okay, let's just start potting him up because if I don't, I feel like all the Legos are gonna fall out of here. Oh my God. Okay. So I need this guy to sit. Let's see. How do I want this against the pole? Probably like this, right? Put you around that way, put you around that way, like that. Cause I really want the moss to help this plant. Oh my God, I forgot about the Lekka, okay. I need to get some medium in there so the Lekka has something. Let's get some medium in there. This pot might be too big, honestly. And I might repot him into a smaller pot soon, but this is what I have for right now. The moss pole is taking up a lot of space, which is why I'm not that concerned. But if I do see signs that it's declining, that it's declining even further, then I will downsize the pot immediately. But for now, for now we're just gonna use this pot. too exposed. Am I doing this right? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna push the moss down so I don't have to pot him so far up. Got a little skeleton hand. And I'm just gonna push the moss down a little bit. Oh my god, I'm really trying not to hurt a leaf. Yes, this is doing exactly what I need it to do. Okay, so far. Oh! There's some roots exposed. I think I should pot him a little deeper. Is it too late? So what I mean is his roots are too high up, like they're out of the pot. So I need to take some of this out to get him a little bit deeper. I don't know. I'm just taking him out really quick. And I had a scooper. Now my scooper is my hands. Oh no, I hate that noise. I think that's deep enough. Okay. Let's put him back in here now. With his roots like this. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a lot better. Now we're gonna backfill again. Perfect. Yay, the roots are covered now. I almost left it like that, honestly. This is, ooh, crunchy. Oh my God, it's crooked, but this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna make it not crooked. 
This thing looks crazy, you can barely see it. But I'm trying to get the aerial roots on the moss pole. I'll take these off now, because they're annoying to listen to. But I finally got my fancy plant tape, I'm so excited. I love that it's Velcro. Okay, let me see. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I know this is a quick video, but I just wanted to update you on how my El Chaco Red has been doing because I do post a lot of pictures of the new leaf. <laughs> I do post a lot of pictures of the new leaves that emerge, but sometimes not everything is what it seems. Oh my God, I have a piece of tape stuck to my arm. Oh my God. Now it's stuck to my entire cardigan. Okay, I'm just gonna Velcro this around. Ooh, I don't think that's tight enough. It's kind of hard to get this tape tight, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Okay, I think I did it. It's pretty tight. So this is my staked up and repotted philodendron El Chaco Red. Hopefully we don't lose any more leaves anytime soon because this is one of my all time favorite plants, obviously. And I didn't fill the moss pole up all the way because it's literally, it literally only has roots down here. I'm hoping and praying that they attach into the moss pole because that would be so exciting. A little bit of water. This is regular water, no Dynagro, because I have the smart release in this pond. And there you have it. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on my Mother of Plants Instagram. And until my next video, bye guys.